Hi everyone, over the years I've uh, been to the vets quite a lot of time and I want to share with you all the things that I've learned. Um, I've got many animals and it will hopefully help you. Maybe you just can't quite get to a vet just yet or you're worried. Um, it's just to help you. Some things can even might even save you a vet visit. Uh, some things. But this is just things that I'm going to share with you through all my vet experiences over many, many years. Um, also, my daughter's a vet nurse. I want to share with you what she's been learning me. Um, and I've also been learning lots off YouTube as well. Um, I've learned some good stuff that I'll share with you. Um, but first off, prevention is better than QA. So the first thing is to try to prevent it. So this video, I'm going to start with um, the cat flu. Now I did buy something and my daughter says, oh no, no, don't use that. I was going to spray this all over me. I says, don't use that. That's toxic to cats. I'll show you that later. But first off, this is what she said to me use. So I'll bring you down here. So here we go. We have safe four. Now vets use this. This is from Amazon. I think this was about £35-ish. Um, you've got all this. I've just used that. That's absolutely amazing. Then you've got your safe four. And that's what you get in the box. And that is amazing. So yeah. Now I will put this up on screen and if you could see that, it's unbelievable how much viruses this kills. Now Joe said to me all that to use it. Um, in fact, it's non-toxic, non-staining, non-tainting, non-irritant, biodegradable, does not contain, I can't say that, effective against viruses. Avian flu, leukemia viruses, plus more bacteria, cannot cough, MRSA, plus loads, loads, listeria, mycobacteria, including loads, fungi, and yeast, mm, ring worm. Oh, that's, that's a good one for guinea pigs. Now, there's just too many to mention. This is brilliant. So I've got my good old faithful bucket here, which I put a blob in and I will like all round. I've also got a mop and bucket and I put it in and I spray all my tops with these and that smells absolutely lovely. And then I've got these as well. Uh, now what I used to use was, I used to put bleach in my mop and bucket, but you're not supposed to let your cats walk on it when it's wet. You're supposed to wait till it's dry. And then sometimes if you've got kittens, they can sometimes walk on it and it's not quite dry. But this should be safe um, for them to walk on any time, even after you've just sprayed. It's safe. Now, what my daughter did tell me that is toxic to cats is... So what she said to me don't use is this. Do not spray this. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this upstairs and I'm going to put this in the bathroom and after I've cleaned the toilet, just spray this and just use your floors. Um, yeah, this is toxic, two cats. Uh, but now uh, this, you don't have to wait until this dries and you can just spray it on and leave it and it's going to be safe for them. So I do feel more happy using that. Um, and all the viruses that it kills you. Now I'm going to be doing more videos later um, of all my other experiences at the vets, which includes dogs and my cats, sugar gliders and guinea pigs.